Hey Frosty Gang, it's your boy Frosty here, here bringing you another challenge video. In this challenge I'm going to show you exactly where to find the candy that you need to eat for the challenges for the Fort Nightmares update. Now in this challenge you can land at any named location. As long as it has a name on the map, you can land there, go to any of the houses that are located within that area, and usually the candy is going to be located at the front door where the buckets are, and you can also find them in some of the houses on the inside, like here it's going to be in the kitchen. Um, upstairs sometime in the bedrooms, you know, maybe the kids took it upstairs to try to sneak it away from the parents. You never know. Now each candy gives you a separate perk, just as if you were eating a fish. Uh, say the peppermint gives you the fast, uh, as if you were eating a pepper. Candy corn gives you health. Raspberry allows you to jump. And the Laffy Taffy allows you to uh, see thermal vision. Now you can complete this game mode in any challenge, solo, duos, squads, uh, or Team Rumble. I'm doing it on solo right now, but a lot of the other streamers are saying doing it on Team Rumble is a lot easier way than doing it on a solos match. Uh, I prefer if everybody go to Retail Row because there's at least three or four houses around the area that has the candy that you're looking for to complete the challenge. But it's completely up to you where you land at. It could be any known location, like I said before. Uh, as soon as I completely loot all the candy within this area, I'm going to head over to Doom's Domain. And they got quite a bit of houses over there to loot as well when it comes down to candy eating skills. Now remember, you got to eat at least 25 pieces of candy in order to qualify to complete this challenge. And as I said before, go to any of the houses around the area and make sure that you loot the inside of the houses as well. Always stack your candy corn on the far right side as if you were stacking it for health because it does heal and you can't immediately eat these pieces of candy uh, because you have 100 health. What I would prefer to do or recommend to do would be to build at least four ramps high and then just jump off of it. That way you lose about 20 health and you can eat your candy corn and just eat and repeat until you have consumed as much candy corn as you needed to do for the challenge. Now right now what I'm doing while this uh, fast play happens, I'm just trying to use a bunch of filler words just to keep you guys entertained and watching the video. That way you guys don't leave. So we're going to just sit here and speed talk and talk for no reason at all and just mumble and jumble until we jump off this thing a couple times. That way it hurries up and get finished. I'm running at two times speed. That way you guys don't have to watch a whole bunch of the video. And again, this is just more uh, filler words, more talking, more random noise, just to get this thing done with and over with. That way we can move on to the next section. Now I ran out of candy over at Retail Row, so I'm going to head over here at Doom's Domain. If you look at the map, I'm going to be on the far left side, almost in, directly in the middle of the yellow house. There's going to be two candy buckets right outside this yellow house, and then another one on the inside. Uh, but I'm just going to use these two, eat the candy, and the challenge is going to be completely complete. And we received a new wrap called Eat Candy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and type exclamation point join in the chat as soon as you see me live stream. Thank you very much, and stay frosty, my friends.